surprise. Hey guys, this is Tuxedo Nerd, and this is my first Rainbow Loom tutorial. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a Draco Malfoy action figure. I got some requests on Instagram for it, and so it's gonna look like this when it's finished. Yeah, so I'll just start off with telling you what you need now. Okay, so you need your loom and your hook and some gray bands, two green bands, two blue bands. And some skin color bands, or in this case, neon orange, because I don't really have any skin. And then you're going to use hair color bands, but I use yellow. And then there's black for the robes. And I think you get my point, because you don't have to use everything that I use, but if you do, then it's probably going to turn out the same as this. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're ready to start. And so you're gonna take your first band, which is your hair color band, and you're gonna put it from this peg to the top peg. Yeah, and you're just gonna push it down. And so you want your loon to be in the, the standard configuration with the red arrow facing towards you. And yeah, it's just standard. Okay, then you can take your and then you're going to take two of your hair color bands and you're going to put them from left to the middle to the same one, you should do the same on the other side and then you're going to do it down on the left side and down on the right side and we're going to use two bands for the whole thing until I see we're not going to use two okay so you're going to take your skin color or neon orange, same or some substitute, and you put it right there. I'll do that again. And you're gonna take two again, you're gonna do one more. Okay. And then you're gonna take two and you're gonna put it one more time. And then you take two again, and you put it on the sides, going down. Again on the left side. Sorry, I mean, keep going down. And then you're going to do... Uh, and uh, yeah, and this time you're going to go on the left side. And then you're going to go down again. And then you're gonna do your diagonal band, which is just going diagonal down. And that's gonna make your chin part. So you're just gonna do that again. And then you're gonna take. Then you're gonna take two and you're gonna do the neck. And then you're gonna take one more, and that's gonna be your chin band. You're gonna loop that three times, and you wanna have th three loops right around that peg <coughs> sorry yeah so you can just take your fingers you're gonna do two loops and then you can just do it again or you can do it on your hook or on a peg if you want because sometimes it breaks on your fingers but not that often and then you're just gonna slip that onto the peg just like that Okay, so then you're going to take two white, and you're going to put them diagonal going down from the neck band. And then you're going to do that again, and go to the right. Just like that. Okay. Then you're going to take your gray, one, one green band and one gray band, and you're going to do that going down from the center just like that and then you're gonna take two gray and go down two gray then you're gonna go with your black or your rope color you're gonna go down on the right side and one in the middle then you're gonna do 
so that that's gonna form your basically his robe part and that's gonna be so you're gonna keep going down on our right side and then you're gonna go down on the left side but you're only gonna go down three it's just like with the right it's basically the same as the right and then and then you're gonna do a diagonal at the end there just like that and just in case the left one is first and the right one is second. and so you're gonna take a cat band and you're gonna put it around the second peg or when you put the black it's that one and you're gonna loop that around three times and that's gonna be his Slytherin badge and so after so you're just gonna leave that and that's what it looks like when it's done it's the same as the eyes where you bring the eyes into the middle and just like you just bring the badge into the middle and I think three looks pretty good because it makes it thick okay now we're gonna make that rope part that I was saying before so you're just gonna take your hook and it's gonna be that side part those um, stick out ropes you take your hook and you're gonna take one black band you're gonna twist it and I recommend twisting it just into two loops because you're gonna attach that somewhere else so make it just two loops and you're just gonna stick that so it rests on your hook then you're gonna take two, yeah sorry and then you're gonna take two black bands and you're gonna hook them and make sure that they're still on oops sorry and you're gonna make sure that it on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really bad. I'm sorry again. And then you're just gonna push the cat band, and you're gonna drag it on. You're just gonna drag it on, and you're not gonna let go because if you let go, then you have to start again. But it's not that big of a deal because you're just that one. And so you're just gonna put that back on your hook but you can put the other side on your hook so the side that was out the side that you were holding with your finger and so you can just tug on your cat band to make sure that you have it and then you're gonna keep doing that and you're gonna do that two more times you're gonna have it's basically you can call it like a three and then one cat band so three loops and one cat band you're gonna do the same thing again I'm sorry that didn't work for me you do that again, and yeah, and so now you have two, and you have a cat band. So then you're going to do it again, and you're going to, now this is your last one, and you're just going to make sure that it's good, it's all, it's not going to fall apart or anything, and there you go, yeah, you're just going to do that. Okay, now you can just make it into a chain like it was okay sorry now you're going to do that again sorry I'm not sure if my hands are in the video okay there you go so you're just gonna put that down on the lower part of your hook where you're not gonna use it and you can just drag that down make sure that it doesn't come apart so then you're gonna take and now I'm going to show you how to do it on the loom. So you can just take one set and then you can take one more. And then now, because we only have three pegs, you're just going to. Sorry. So you're just going to take it through there. First you're going to put a cat band, it's the same with two loops, because you're going to attach it somewhere else. And then, and then you're going to loop it, just like you would normally loop something. And then you're going to take your hook, you put your hook through, and you're going to take those two bands, like you're tying a slip knot, but make sure you don't tie a slip knot. Just drag them through and then hook it back on. And then pull it off. 
And then, so you're gonna put that back on your hook where you did for the last one. I'm just gonna do that. Sorry again for that. And so you're just gonna take it and you're just gonna put it on with the cat band on the bottom and you're gonna do that again. You're just gonna take that and then you're gonna drag it but you're not but you wanna make sure to get both loops and you wanna make sure not to have it directly on if you can take it spread out okay so now we're gonna make the arms you're just gonna loop it three times and make sure so you're gonna use your skin color band or whatever you chose to use and then you're just going to take two more skin color and like you did before with the robes you're just going to drag it up and over make sure not to let go you're going to push that down and then hook on the other side there you go and then you, and you can just stretch it out make sure it's all good now you're going to take your black or your robe color and you're just going to drag it over same thing again it's basically like a repetitive thing except for the colors, just the first two. Sorry, I'm gonna focus a little bit. It's kinda bright. Yeah, okay, so you're just gonna do that. Right, and then now you have it on. Then so you're gonna get your next one. And they're all black now, and you're just gonna do four of them. Because last time we, we did three in a cat band, this time we're going to do four in a cat band. So then you just take your black, go to focus now. And then you're just going to drag it in again. And now you have three. So you're going to put your last black on now. And that's going to make four loops. Or four sets of bands. So this is your last one. And then you're going to do that again. And that's going to be for your uh, uh, other arm. And that's how it looks. Sorry, I just had a hiccup. So you need to secure it on there. You do that again. You're gonna loop it three times, and you're gonna let it sit there. And then you're gonna do it again. You're gonna take two, two of your neon arm. You're gonna drag it on and loop it back on. And then you're gonna take a black band and so you're just gonna do what you did before and so you're just gonna stretch it out make sure it's looking good and not flawed or anything and so you're just gonna take your black set and then you're just gonna do what you did before and you're just gonna take it on and loop the second half of black back on there you go and then you're gonna keep doing that until you reach uh, four because right now you have two and a cat band you wanna make sure you have three black one neon orange and one neon orange cat band that's how you know when it's ready And you're gonna do that. Sorry, mine just flew off. I think it should be easier for you to make because I didn't. I don't know, I'm kinda like. getting a little bit sick today, so. Yeah, okay. So you're just gonna keep doing that and until you reach four there you have okay so we're gonna make the legs now and you can take two black basically your 
color you chose for your robes and you're just gonna take it from the bottom where you left off and you're just gonna go down until the end but you're not gonna do the middle you're only gonna do the left side and the right side And you're gonna do the right side. You do one, two, and three, two. And you're gonna take your hood and you're gonna go like that. There you go. And then you're gonna do your cap band. Sorry that mine flew away again. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, one and you're just gonna make four. Sorry, no, three, three loops. You're gonna have three loops when you take it off. Or four, like so. So whichever you think is good, I use three. As you can see, I do three loops. So you're just gonna twist it so it has three loops when you're done. Then you're gonna go and do your triangle bands. You do one triangle band and another triangle band. You're just gonna do it right above where you put the side like robes that flow out basically and you're gonna do your first connector with your neon orange but you're gonna wait and you're gonna do the blue eyes and you're just gonna loop it so you have four just make sure it doesn't come off or break it should work you can use your hook too but I for me I just personally use this so it's your choice now and you're just gonna do that sorry it's a little bit hard so you're just gonna do four and then you're gonna place your next connector when you're ready. So you can just push those down and you attach your next connector or your triple band, sorry, not connector. And you can do it again and then you're all set and then you're gonna put on your arms. So you're just gonna take the arms off. You're just gonna stretch it out and place it right on the top by the shoulders. So right above where you put a Slytherin badge, and one peg below, two pegs below his face. And now you're just going to check if everything's ready, and it's going to look like that when it's done. And you can pause to check if it's like mine. Okay. And now... Now we're going to loop it and we're just going to take the green badge and we're going to pull it over. And you same with the eyes, you're just going to take the eyes and you're going to pull it over. You're not going to put your hook inside the, uh, inside the, sorry, I know I had another hook on oh my gosh. And so you're going to take another, I'm sorry guys, I'm just having a little bit of bad day today. He's going to go from underneath, not inside. And you're just going to pull it out. You can check Made by Mommy's uh, designs that she makes, like the lemur pencil thing. Sorry, pencil hugger. And then, so, she does the same technique. I just use that for the eyes and for the badge. And so you're going to loop. You're just going to take the bottom part. Make sure the cap band doesn't come off. You can hold that with your finger or your thumb. And then you're just going to pull it and hook it to the next pick. And you're just going to do that with the legs. Yeah. Make sure your cap bands are still three loops. And you do that again. You put it to the next one. And do that again. Put it to the next peg. And then you're going to leave it there, and then you're going to do your other leg. And then you're going to go straight, and then you can keep doing that until you reach where you did for the last one. And then you're going to leave it there. And then you're going to go at the very bottom and take your diagonal band there. So make sure you get your diagonal, because there's lots of bands there. Same with that one. You want to make sure to get the diagonal band first, the one that's on top, but the one that's under your leg, your robes things. So in the background, this is the water. Sorry about that. So you're just, and then you're just going to make sure. 
just gonna make sure it's set up good. And you're just gonna take your straight bands going up from the legs. Same with the other side. Because you want to get to those first. Those are like the hardest to loop. And so it's going to look like that after you do it. And you're going to stretch it out and make sure it's not tucked inside. Because you want that to come out to make his rows. And you're just going to do the next one. It's okay if you do one at a time. You might do it by accident. But yeah. So it's, it's okay. And you're going to take the bottom one. And you're going to take it to the arms. So I skipped a little bit. And you're gonna take it to the arms and make sure the arms are in. You're gonna take your white, his basically his gesture. And you're gonna take that in and up, and both of them. Make sure not to leave one, and make sure to do it all in order. And you're just gonna take your skin. You're gonna reach down really, really low, and you're gonna do that on the other side. So you're gonna take both of them. Yeah, both of them. And then you're gonna take the middle one. And you're gonna take that up. Yeah. And then now you're gonna keep going up until you reach the hair, but you're not gonna do the hair. No, sorry, there's no hair for you to loop. You're, you're just gonna leave the last one. Same with the other side, you're just gonna take it up, over, and you're gonna take it to the next one. Same with the other side, you're just going to match the sides together, because they're going to be the same. So you're going to take both of the bands, make sure it gets around your peg. I'm going to have to stretch mine a little bit. Okay, there you go. Relieve the tension. And then you're going to go again, you're going to do your hair. And you're going to do that with hair with the other side. And hair with the other side. So hit, yeah, hit it with the left side. And then you're going to do your middle. Sorry. It might slip off your peg, so you can just retrieve that. Because it's not going anywhere unless you pull it out. And then you just do your last one. And you hook it like that. And then you can tie a slip knot. So I'm not very good at slip knots. Or you, you can just put it... Or you can just put it inside your hook. And you can just pull it. Off. Make sure that that band does not come off or your whole figure is going to come apart. Okay, you can just pull it off. Don't be too hard on it or else it might break. Just pull it off gently and then there you go. That's your Jacob Malfoy action figure. Sorry, for some reason my cat band only came out as two, so you can make sure not to do that for you. So you can tie a slip knot. Again, I'm not very good at slip knots, so I just do it at the end. And then so we're going to touch it up a little bit so you can uh, take the badge out. You can stretch the legs. You can stretch the robes. You can take the eyes out, whichever direction you want it, whichever direction looks good. I prefer the badge to be on the right side, but it's your choice, whatever you like the most. And... And thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a Draco Malfoy action figure on the Rainbow Loom.